Hey guys, welcome to the episode of The Box. I finally got around to doing, oh, let me bring them in. Um, I finally got around to showing you how to revamp my decor boxes here. Um, for those of you that follow my channel, you know I'm a recycler. Um, I recycle um, everything I can get my hands on really to do my craft work. So, you know, mainly everything that I make is out of recycled materials. Um, so I also keep my things in recycled materials. Um, apart from some boxes like tubs I have bought new, some I've got from secondhand shops, um, you know, like plastic tubs. But anyway, these are little boxes that I keep my little bits and pieces in. For example, this one has my little scraps of napkins in here, left over from, you know, various projects. Um, so I keep those in here so I know where all the little bits are. Um, so I try and use these on things. Um, I also have one with paper, one with fabric scraps, and one with um, various knickknacks like beads and charms and whole bits of jewellery, etc, etc. So these get stacked on top of each other and they come with me um, if I need to go upstairs. So that way I've got the basics to work with. So this is what I keep in here. So I'm going to revamp. It all depends on which box you get. This one here is a diplomat. I think this one come from Aldi's. Um, and it opens this way. The Lipton's um, open long way, so they open that way. Um, so today I will be working on this one here, my napkin one. I need to fix this up because, you know, it's starting to get a little bit worn. So I'm going to redo this. So I'm going to transport all my little bits out of here. And I'm going to put into here for now. Um, while I'm working on here. So this one here, obviously, um, it's my napkin box. So I'm going to cover it um, in book pages once I finish doing what I do to it. I'll cover it in book pages and put some napkins on it. So I know that's my napkin box. Okay guys, so I'm going to try something new. Um, I'll probably talk a little bit through this, but because it's such a long process, um, I will put it on fast forward um, with no sound. Um, I'll see if I can find some music. I've still got to learn how to do that. Um, so I will be able to... Um, keep working on this while the camera's going um because it will take a couple of hours so anyway guys um i'll walk you through the first couple of stages whoops 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 i do have i had a disaster here earlier i was working on something very important <laughs> and i spilt um my whole entire bottle of paint water over everything all over my desk, all over, just literally everything. Everything got soaked, everything fell apart, and I had to throw it all out. So I thought, right, I'm not going to start on that again, so let's do this one. <laughs> so let me grab, oh, I need that, and I need this. So most of my stuff at the moment is on my sewing table once more because I had to evacuate my desk while I cleaned it up. Okay, so I'll just grab my PVA. I will need that, um, and I'll brush. Um, I do recommend if you use PVA glue to use an old brush because it does eventually clog up your brush a lot worse than Mod Podge. Um, so if you've got good brushes that you don't want to ruin completely, um, I wouldn't use it with your PVA. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, guys, um, let's get started. So what I've done... Um, is yesterday I went out and I sanded a Coca-Cola box that we get our cans in. The only reason I've sanded it is because it's got like a glossy um, coating on it and I didn't want to um, pull off the like the coating because it makes the cardboard a little less sturdy if that makes it, it plays up with the integrity of the 
the fibers so um, I've sanded it and that way our glue will stick to it a little bit better okay because it's got to stick on to here so what I'm going to do quickly because I've only just taken out my um, napkins is I'm going to go outside because see the sheen on here um, I'm going to run outside grab my sandpaper and give this a good um, sanding as well and then we can get started okay I'll be back okay guys um, I know it doesn't look like it but I have sanded it I've given it a, um, a scuff up with the sandpaper um, so let's try and um, revamp this box shall we so first things first you don't have to get rid of these side bits um, you can keep them there but I'm going to take them off some of them have a perforated edge where you can just pull um, this one here looks like I've got a cup which is fantastic because you know how straight I am at cutting um, but at the end it won't matter all right so I've got that let's trim that off uh, there we go and I'll get rid of these two flaps here these are perforated so these should just kind of break off there we go Alrighty. so we have that now we undo these corner bits take those off me break that off what else have we got here okay now these bits I do keep because it adds to um, the sturdiness for the lid um, and I will let's see if you can see I will chop these or cut them I should say at a bit of an angle let me just grab um, from that corner to that corner so I'm just lining it up from where it meets the bit underneath like from the corner to here so we'll just chop that off and the same with the bottom so we swap I suppose you could just draw a line across there now I suppose why not let's do that just so it sits a little bit flusher on there and isn't as bulky all right save these for later on because I will use those on something I'm sure <laughs> I know I'm bad all right so let's stick this down um, it doesn't matter what glue you use um, um, you can use fabric glue tacky glue um, whatever glue you choose really just long as it's fairly sturdy I'm just going to use some um, what is it Aileen's tacky glue whenever it decides to come out the bottom meanwhile I'll have um, a drink of coke all right here we go so we need it to stick you can use um, hot glue even um, yeah I don't think the glue I have with my glue gun is any good <laughs> it's probably too old doesn't seem to stick to anything um, so yeah me and my glue my glue gun just weren't meant to be friends but that's okay I can live with that all right so now we fold it in and while I'm waiting for that to dry let me just grab my 
little things here while I measure because I'm going to fill up this middle bit with a bit of cardboard. So I'm just going to grab my handy dandy holders here. And let that all stick together. Okay. While I find a bit of cardboard to fit in the middle there, I've got little bits hiding up here that I could possibly. No, that's a, a journal. <laughs> the start of one, anyway. What have I got here? How about we use some of this? Let's celebrate. That's nice and thick. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we can do that. So how are we going now? Is it fairly well stuck? Yeah. Alrighty. I don't mean to make things awkward, guys. Honestly, it's just just me. All right. I use these to hold my um, paper tubes together when I weave my baskets. They come in handy. All right. Oops. I should have cut that off flush. I wonder if I can still can. Let me grab a knife here. And my card. And I'll just run that across a little bit, see if I can score. Score that off. Yeah, I should have cut that first. There we go. Done. I actually like the shape of that. I might keep that and use the shape of that to decorate um, my box. Alrighty. Now, let's do this. Let's get this sort of... I'm only going to go from basically here across to here. Um, probably as wide as that is. So let me try and mark... Here. So that's going to come up to there. Or maybe not. To there. And then from there to to slide it there maybe to there if it's not perfect it doesn't matter because it will be covered so let me see if I can cut a straight line here yeah, that's funny Rayleigh <laughs> as if that will happen all right so let me grab this and that how about that and I'll just cut straight through there like so Yeah, that will work. And we need the second mark, don't we? I think. Yes. All right. There we go, just about perfect. Look at that. So it doesn't matter if it goes down to there. It's not going to be an issue. As long as we've filled up most of this, um, we'll be fine. Okay. Now, I should have scuffed that up, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to use some fabric glue. That'll make it stick, hopefully. Generous coating.
Now you can probably use double-sided tape too, I guess, if you've got some double-sided tape. Because it's all going to be covered eventually anyway, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, all right. So while that's doing that, I'm going to get rid of this and put this back up here for later use. Alrighty. So now that we've got that done, that's our lid. So don't worry if it's it's not going to fall through. <laughs> um, okay, so we've done that. So now what I do, you can measure this if you want to and cut it all out properly, but um, you know me. Rough and ready. So what I'm going to do is line up my box like so on the corner. So basically the corner of the box on the side, you know, the side of the card. And I'm just going to draw around it. Just like so. So there's that. And the same with this one. I'm just going to draw around it and cut this out.
we folded those in, it acts as a, I don't know, just sits inside the box nicely. See that? Okay. Now for the next stage, the fun stage, the long process stage. Okay, I'll just tidy up my mess, get rid of some stuff. Um, so what we do now is we find a Hungry Jack's bag or equivalent, which I'm pretty sure I've got somewhere around here. How about we use this one? Look. The burgers are always better at Hungry Jacks, so they say. The burgers are better. Sorry about that noise, guys, but it has to be done.
hello hello we are back okay um it's now morning um this is dry it's officially cold i've had to drag out a jumper today mm. nice hot coffee okay so let's get started so in the last section we made this so this is what it's like when it's nice and dry um, so now this is the easy part now that this part's out of the road um, we just have to decorate it so you can leave it as is and paint it um, now you know give it a coat of gesso put some paint on it put some lace on it put some you know pretty little flowers and pearls and you know um, what is that shabby cheek it up a little bit um, but I'm going to cover this in book page and I've ripped some up here ready to go um, just to get the blood flowing through my fingers because <laughs> they are a little bit cold this morning um, anyway so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to drag out my napkin now I've already decided on a napkin because in my last video I made those um, napkin booklet things and I promised this little guy that I'd use him next <laughs> yeah remember these ones um so when i made that um if you don't know this one i'll put the um, link up in the top and down in the bottom um now where was this little guy that i was going to use where are you now you're here there we go so I promised this one I would use. I'll just drop the lid of my container. Let me see if I can pick it up. All right. Um, so I'm going to use this napkin. And that's about it for now because I can always add to it later. So let me move that box out of the way. And let's get started all right now I've got my glue I've got my paintbrush which has all been washed and cleaned now I just want to drag out my um, one of these I do have one that I was working on here it is just bring this over and I'll put under my box because it took me forever to scrape that little glue off my um, mat last night when I had finished so I'm going to use this because um, as you can see I'm still got this half to glue on so if there's any book pages left over um, they will go on here um, so let's go yeah, I won't put that on there because I will <laughs> I'll knock it over for sure all right okay another sip mm-hmm that's what I'm talking about okay let's do this so same as before I'm just gluing down um, my pages I'm not going to worry about doing uh, yeah I will do under the lid because I want to put something under the under here I want to put something there so when I open it up something's pretty looking at me so we will do that so I'll just let that hang over a little bit so I can go in there and um, tuck that all in later oh i nearly put that in my coffee <laughs> that would have been interesting okay focus Rayleigh. focus you've got one job <laughs> oh dear me okay so i just want to line this up as i haven't decided when or whether i want to decorate the back or not because i'm not going to see the back um if i choose to i'll do that last so I'm just randomly 
gluing. It doesn't bother me if it's um, upside down, sideways, back to front. I haven't checked the words on these because, um, like I said, it's for me. So if there's anything, you know, a bit odd, <laughs> I don't need to worry about it. So, all right. Oh, let it hang. Oh, no, I was about to say let it hang over. I do need to let it hang over. And once again, I think my coffee is in a bad spot. Um, I must remove that. <laughs> just, I'll just finish this. I might do this on the corner, seeing as we have a corner piece. Because um, if I let that hang off like that, I can use both um, both sides. Okay, I need to move this. Otherwise, it will end up with my paint brush in it. Where to put it without spilling it, though, that is the question. All right, how about over there? Right. It's out of the way. Now, there's no temptation. All right. Oh. Come on. Stick. It's like my fingers don't want to work this morning. Stick. <laughs> there we go. No. Come on. Done. Stay. There we go. So yes, it's your choice what you want to cover the lid with. Um, and cover it with newspaper, um, scrapbook paper, just paint it. Um, don't know. Choice is yours. Okay, let me put that there. So this is all I will be doing for a while. So I might speed this up here and um, let you watch. guys um i'm gonna wait for this to dry and then i'm going to do the sides of the box um once all that's done um i'll be back okay guys now i've finished i did do the back after all because it looked really funny not having that done after i um covered the sides and I also, yeah, so I've, I've done inside as well because <laughs> it looked a little bit weird. Still a little bit damp in there, um, but that will dry overnight. I'll just put something heavy in the middle of that so it doesn't buckle upwards and um, let that dry overnight. But anyway, um, so I'm going to work on this lid. Um, I promised this little fella yesterday that I'd use him on my next... Um, project <laughs> so, um, I've already cut um, 
him out of there with um, my little water brush here. So let's have a play and see what we're going to do. Now I'll probably give this a light coat of gesso because it will make um, our, you know, because once this is on it becomes sort of semi-transparent. So um, a little bit of gesso helps bring the picture forward. Um, so we'll have a little play. I've grabbed a couple of little bits out of my little box over there um, just to see if I can use some of these little bits up as well. So um, we'll have a play, shall we? There's a little flower. I suppose I could put that there. There's my bird. Um, do we need a border on the bottom? Because I thought this might look nice as a, um, a border on the bottom of that. It's either that one or this one. I do like that one. I'll have it go this way. The top. Actually, I might do it up the top. That looks really nice up there. All right. So if I put a little bit up the top, my bird there. And my flowers there. I've got a little corner piece I can put there. So I'm just trying to use up all my little scraps that I have laying around. That's a bit of a, actually I might, I do have a use for that. So if I just cut this out, this is a gum tree branch um, from a kookaburra napkin that I have here or a kingfisher, whatever you want to call them. Pretty sure they're kookaburras that's on the napkin. All right, that's of the kingfisher family. There you go. So if I cut that out, I might put him behind my bird. All right. Okay, you go up the top. Okay, do you remember how this goes, guys? <laughs> um, move you up because I do want to put this. Okay, see that become that come off this part anyway. It's just a. So I might put the whole thing down, actually. Why aren't you playing nicely? Okay. Off you come. There we go. And I'll bring that over. Like so. What do you think? Look okay? Uh, or see now I'm starting to overthink it. Too many decisions. I do want to use this. I do find that pretty. Okay. Let me trim this. Okay. All right. Yeah, I like that actually. Oh, there, I'm off camera. Okay, there we go. I think that might do it. So let me pack these away before I 
lose them. And um, let's stick this down. But what I will actually, let me just put these in my box here. This is um, my pretend box, as we know, because this is the actual napkin box. So let's put that in there. And let's finish this. So I'll just grab a little bit of um, this primer that I have, this gesso, which is over here. Okay. Stay, don't fall. I just don't want my pegs to fall down. <sighs> All right. And I will grab my brush. I use this little fella for my gesso brush because he's um, on his way out. And when he finally gets too full of junk to um, use, I will alter him and turn him into a, I don't know, give him a personality. This is Frank, by the way. <laughs> Yes, I name my paintbrushes. Frank. All right. So I'm just going to give this a slight gesso where I think these things will end up. Um, just to tone down our book pages a little bit and help our napkin really pop. So we want to see those colours. But I also want to see the book pages underneath as well. So just a light light coat. Yeah, Frank's been a very good paintbrush. Um, I've had I've had Frank here for a couple of years. And I forgot to put my phone on silent again. Okay, who is that? That is my daughter. She wants to borrow some of our bricks. Sure, why not? <laughs> if I don't answer this text, um, she will call. So um, now that I've done that, we can still see our um, book pages through there. Got a nice little, um, oh, there's the camera there, Ailey. See? So I will let that dry a little bit um, while I answer my daughter. And um, I'll be back. Okay, phone call answered or text message answered. Now let's stick our little bird and stuff down. Did we remember where everything went, guys? <laughs> because I'm relying on you to tell me. All right, let me get my brush here. Get my other brush for this. Okay, I've got a little bit of time before my daughter turns up. She said she's um, whippersnipping her lawn or her yard, so she'll be over when she's finished. So um, probably tomorrow because it takes her a long time to do things. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, might help if I trim this first, huh? Uh -huh. can trim that off in a minute all right let's do it a bit of glue i'm just using pva just wood glue white glue builder's glue that glue It's not a very soft brush this, so I've got to be careful. 
I do recommend using a soft brush with napkins though um, so it just helps not rip and move them around but this is you know a stiff brush but it will do all right now our bird actually I think I was going to stick this down wasn't I so if I put that there I do want this in the corner so I know where this goes so let me just stick that in the corner like so That'll have to do. There we go. So I got that one down. This one I know I wanted here. Like that. So we'll put that down. Give it a coat. And now for this. How's that? Yeah, I like that. I might move his tail over this way a little bit though. There. Yeah. Pretty. Alright, so let me stick this down. on top oh, don't you stick down yet not ready for you and you can go here and I'll work the bird around it let's hope I put that in the right spot shall we all right not quite but that's okay That's okay. Good enough. Good enough. So no doubt I'll probably add to this as I go along. Find little bits of, you know, I can fill up my spots. At least I know this is my napkin um, box. Let me just trim that. All right. There we go. So there's the front of that done. Um, I just have to put something in the middle here um, and decorate the sides um, which is a pretty similar process to what I've been doing so um, there you go guys I hope you have enjoyed um, my little how to revamp your box tutorial um, 
So now my lovely decor boxes have been given a facelift. Um, so they've gone from this to this. So there's one done. So I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, I'll just grab another one here that um, I have done. This one here will hold my fabric scraps in it. Um, I'm going to paint this. Um, I'm not sure what colour yet, um, but I will paint it. Um, like I haven't done the bottom, it will be covered in um, probably a bit of old wallpaper. Um, the same as the bottom of this one. But once again, this was a tea box. It was one of these diplomat ones because it opens that way. So um, there you go, guys. So see, I've left all that inside plain, but that's okay. But yes, and you can decorate it any way you want. I've decorated this one with other bits of cardboard that I've cut out and added bits to it um, so there's one and there's that one so once they're nicely stacked up inside my you know my cupboard they will look lovely and I can pick them up and go oh that's napkins oh that's fabric <laughs> oh that's that one so this one here I will turn probably turn this one into my scrap paper box maybe um, like I said, I've got two more to do. This will, um, one's my scrap paper and the other one is for my knickknacks. So, you know, bits of broken jewellery, beads, bits of wire, you know, things that I might need. Um, who knows? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the process of turning this into this. Let's turn that around. Um... And once again, guys, give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. And I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.